beans. Gosh, I love beans. Especially all the beans that are here right now. I hope y'all are having a great weekend so far. Oh, I had... I don't know. Like, I I laid down earlier after the after the Pokemon stream, and I would I just basically died. I was dead to the world. I sleeped so hard. I guess maybe my body needed it. Pidge, hello. Welcome on in. How you doing, Bean? I hope you're well. Let me go through the list real quick. Seribot, thank you so much for popping in, keeping us all safe. Koji, hello. Welcome on in. Okaj, hello. Ooh, oh my word, Poji was busy with the redeems. <laughs> Fuso, hello, welcome on in. Winterwolf, hello. Yuki, hello, good beam. Anomaly, oh my gosh, hello. Hello, may everyone here be blessed with a relaxing weekend, a pleasant week, and all the help you need to get through any struggles that come your way. You are all fantastic. And as are you, Anomaly. I appreciate you so much. Such a wonderful bean. Sammy Bean, hello. Welcome on in. Nice to see you. Super good bean. Gosh. Gummy Wuzzle, welcome on in. Nice to see you. <laughs> Yuki, if you love beans, why don't you eat that giant can of bushes on your desk, huh? I will. Just you wait. Yeah, the uh, the subject of a bean smoothie came up yesterday. Came up yesterday when we were chatting in uh, in voice chat. I also suggested an ice cream, make it into an ice cream, which I think actually might be good. I agree with Vera on that one. But holy heck, why don't we get, why don't we uh, why don't we get started? It's all I remember because I was dying repeatedly in Elden Ring. <laughs> yeah, as one does in Elden Ring. Let me kill the music to you here. It is over. Yes. Uh, have you ever paid, played Bellatro? I have not. I don't even know what it looks like. I don't think I've ever watched Bellatro. But lots of friends say that like they're addicted to it, so maybe I should check it out. It's like, oh, 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 you friend. You have an unhealthy behavior? Tell me all about it so I may also try it. <laughs> it's a poker-based roguelike. Ooh. Also, I saw my boss on check on Chesapeake Collectibles today. He bought in he brought in the Apple One we have on display. Hell yeah. I'm playing Bellatro right now, and yes, I'm addicted. <laughs> Literally also playing Bellatro. <laughs> Holy heck. Maybe I should give it a look. I've got so many games I need to play, y'all. Holy shit. And like my current brain rot right now, for gaming at least, is uh, getting Windows on my Steam Deck and then uh, putting Pokemon Infinite Fusion on it. But the thing is though, I want to play Infinite Fusion on stream. I want to stream that. I don't want to just like take it with me to like work and play it in my off time. Okay, we gotta remember, we gotta remember to go to the gold saucer, because we gotta get tickets, because they, uh, <clears throat> they made, they do the drawing in an hour. Well, at 7 o'clock. So, 36 minutes. So, let's see who is on right now for the friendos. Do, 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 social. Just Poji and Soret. Okay. We get Poji, Poji in on the on the party. No Vera. Poof. 
Pray return to the golden saucer. Yep. Turns out it could be worth about one million. Bob just happily nodded. Wow. I'm sure the value for something like that would just go up over time, too. As crazy as people get. As crazy as people get about uh, that sort of stuff. <clears throat> I don't think he'd sell it. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Unless it has some sentimental value. Poji is away from keyboard. Okay. <clears throat> right at the start of the stream. <laughs> it's probably just as it's probably just as well. Uh, I'm just gonna wait a little bit and you know let people kind of. Filter in, I guess. But Yuki, Yuki, like that, that, that job sounds like it's pretty cool. Let's see, let me get into. At least get into uh, blah, 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 New Game Plus. There we go. Clobby Clobbertson. That's actually a pretty cool name. <laughs> Fun fact about the Apple One, it wasn't built with a case. You had to make your own. The one he brought in, which is the same one we have on display, is put in a briefcase. Interesting. That's neat. Holy heck. Yeah, today's Pokemon stream was pretty nuts. It was pretty heckin' nuts. There's Poji. Welcome back, Poji. I'm kind of wondering if anybody else is going to join us today. I'll wait. I'll, I'll wait like another minute or two, and then we'll uh, we'll get started. Vera isn't joining us tonight. Is Vera sick? No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that, Yuki. They're joining a friend in No Man's Sky. All right. They're streaming their first time playing. Okay, yeah, that's fair. This was like, this was always and ever a thing where like, it was just kind of super casual and like folks can join it, uh, join us if they wish. Um, but like, you know, folks are going to come and go. So it's not like, it, it's not something that anyone is really required to attend, you know, <clears throat> if they want to play with us, uh, they have to kind of be on the same chapter and quest as we are, which is the reason why I pop things in discord and pin and, and pin our quests and stuff like that, so people can kind of get themselves there if their intent is uh, playing with us the next time we play, if that makes sense. Vera had posted in the New Game Plus channel they'd catch up later, but given how late they posted it, I imagine you probably hadn't seen it yet. Yeah. Oh yeah, considering it's two minutes after I started. <laughs> oh, it's cool. It's cool. I'm on my way. No worries. But yeah, it's honestly totally a voluntary thing. 
I'm honestly really lucky. I'm really lucky that folks in the stream want to play, you know, and are willing to, like, you know, listen to me crawl through the story and, and things like that. So, you know, it's really, it's really not a big deal. Although, with all that said, I don't mind waiting for folks, you know, and, you know, uh, hopefully, like, you know, folks will, you know, catch up and things like that, because, you know, you can't really start out on a specific quest in the middle of a New Game Plus chapter, which is the, which is the tough part. It's all right, Vera, no worries. Wouldn't miss it. I love your appreciate, uh, appreciative pace. Given how it went last time I started the story, yeah. And the thing is, though, I really dislike starting games and not finishing them. So, like, once I start something, I'm kind of hell-bent on finishing it. You know, sooner or later. So, um, and I want to include as many people as possible in that. So, th that's a thing. I still like to join, but I'm still behind. Current story beat is King Mog duty. Okay. I want to beat this. I want to play with you. Honestly, no, no worries, Vera. No worries. <clears throat> if you wanna, if you wanna like use, if you wanna use like the rest of the night to kind of catch up, or like you know you want to catch up with the rest of the week and join us next Friday. I mean that's totally cool. That is totally cool. I'll be here next time. No worries. No worries. No one's mad. No one's mad or anything like that. But thank you, thank you for letting me know. All right, we got Poji. Let's get it. Let's let's get. Hose mad? No hose. There are no hose that are mad. There are no mad hose here. <laughs> I used to have an issue of starting games and not finishing them, and I felt really bad about it. I actually had made it a New Year's resolution one year that if I start a game, I'd finish it. Honestly, that's valid. I'm uh, drink uh, up, <laughs> slut. <laughs> All right, I will drink. I will drink. That just gave me that just gave me another sound clip. That gave me an idea for another sound clip for uh for uh, Afro Bun to do. We'll call it Hydrate Ho. <laughs> uh let's see. I've got to I've got to ping Afro Bun. I gotta I gotta write that write this down though so I don't forget it. That is gold right there. Thank you, Vera. <laughs> Actually, it was a it was a team effort. It was a team effort. It was a team effort with uh, uh, Vera and Yuki. I have to go back and finish my RE4 playthrough, in fact, since I had started it on a subathon but ran out of time to finish it. Okay, yeah. Imagine having multiple sound bites where it picks one at random when it's redeemed. That's how it works. That's exactly how it works, Poji. When somebody redeems hydrate, it either says uh, drink up slut or uh, sip sip bitch. And soon it will be hydrate ho. <laughs> and it just picks one at random. So let's see. We have to go to Amaric at Snowcloak. So let's go do that. Let's go do that. Where's the hyd hydrator dihydrate? Well, the thing is, though, that doesn't really follow the format. It doesn't really follow the format. I mean, I maybe I, I might be able to do that. Let's see. Since it's just two of us, I could do the draft chocobo, and we could just go right there. I have a feeling there might be a do. Uh, there might be. We might have like a duty or a trial tonight. We might be fighting Shiva.
Yep, it is. Uh, it is. We're gonna. We're, I guess we're gonna do that right now. Yep. Okay, so if there's anybody in chat who has a character which is at this, uh, which has this unlocked, um, if you want to play with us, now is the time. Adi, this is a welcome surprise, perhaps the only one thus far. As you can see, we have yet to uncover, uncover any hidden... You have my gratitude. Truth be told, we suspected the heretics might be plotting such an attack. Now that we have confirmation, I shall place my knights on high alert. Has Commander Levier been informed? The braves must be made aware. Okay, maybe not right this second. Okay, but I have a feeling that's what we're going to be doing. It must be here. I am certain of it. Why else would they go to such lengths to defend Snowcloak? It is but a pity this discovery comes when our enemy has us at such a disadvantage. Forewarned though we may be, the heretics know the terrain far better than we. I dare not think how many are watching us at this very moment. Confound it. This is all wrong. Iceheart has us scrambling to save her own skins when we should rightly be straining every sinew to find her and stop this damnable summoning. There she is. Come here, girl. Holy shit. That was close. They didn't hurt you, did they? Only my pride, Yida. There will be others nearby. We must see that they are given a similarly warm welcome. Commander Levier. There's been a development, sir. Together with the Temple Knights, we have secured the entrances to some half dozen tunnels. After spotting the enemy breaking the surface, but that is not all, sir. We think that one of them may be important. Certainly the heretics near flung themselves upon our swords to defend it. Aha, just as I suspected. Amongst this warren of tunnels lies the entrance to Iceheart's lair. Some and the others were going in. A moment, Alphano. The tunnel in question is barely wide enough for two men abreast. We cannot say with any certainty where it leads, much less what is waiting for us there. Furthermore, we have no way of knowing how many heretics are still lurking here on the surface. What if they were to converge on this point after we entered the tunnel? For all we know, we could be funneling our forces into a trap. I take your point. If the tunnel is indeed as narrow as you say, greater numbers would be more a hindrance than a help. Should we encounter difficulty, our own allies would become an obstacle to escape. <clears throat> a change of plans. While we rendezvous with Sir Amorek and keep the heretics at bay here, you will go wherever the tunnel leads. If you find Iceheart at the end of it, do not let her escape. You venture into the unknown, so see that you are prepared for anything. I suggest you call upon your allies, though not too many, or Papalima will sulk. <laughs> Kind of seems that way. What does the stalwart Temple Knight have to say? The entrance to the tunnel, madam? It's just over here. Had we not seen the heretics breaking the surface, we would never have noticed it. Per Sir Amerik's orders, we will stand guard outside. Please be aware that even, even should you encounter significant resistance, we cannot leave our post. Yep. It's definitely now. There's Cairo. Let's go. Do 
if it's just you and me now, uh, may I join call? Absolutely. And Ryu was uh, Ryu was absolutely able to do that. Also, let me uh, let me get that roll one. I have no idea what I'm doing in this. It's been fuck. It's been over a year since I've done it. There we go. Hello. 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 Uh, does Ryu want to join? Well, Ryu, does Ryu want to join the call? I guess I should say. Ryu, if you want to join the call, join the general, the general voice channel, and I can tug you in. So we're going to need five others, I'm sure. Yeah. It's cool though. I mean, we could be, we the the rest of them we could pick up as pugs. Yeah. I just want to give people in uh, in chat uh, that are listening to the stream an ample opportunity to join us. Oh, we'll just give it a minute or two. I don't think Ryu can hear me. Could also see who else we've got online. That's true. We have got, let's see. Oh, I can hear you, okay. You're, m you're more than welcome to join the voice chat if you would like Ryu, if not, no worries. I keep forgetting who Charlie Renault is. Is that that's not Banyan, is it? I don't think so. They're not on my friends list. Okay. If I only so play, rare, like you are my only online friend right now. Interesting. I have one other, but I have a feeling that he won't want to join because he likes to play by himself. Ah, okay. I mean, that's valid. That's valid. Well, I'm pretty. I'm pretty good to go. We could just join because we got a yeah a DPS, a healer, and a tank. Yeah, we should. The queue shouldn't be too bad. Let's just do it. Snow cloak. Let's go. Wow, that was quick. Oh, it's only a four man. Oh, okay. That works too. Oh, this place is so pretty. Oh, because it's a dungeon, not a not a trial. Interesting. I, cause the thing is, though, I thought dungeons and trials were were basically all eight person forward. Ooh, I like this person with us with the wizard hat. That's really cool. But I bet you, because I saw a crystal and the flyby that the trial will be right after this dungeon. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> big pulls, big pulls. I've got an angry deer on me. Angry deer, let's take care of it. I think it's because like when uh, when Ryu was pulling, I think I, uh, I shot it with my bow and kind of stole a little aggro away and then it got peeled off to somebody else. There we go.
I love the music here. Yeah. It's very peaceful. Oh, I love Spriggans. I just love the way they look. They're just so cool. Hey, Andy, welcome on in. Hot bar got messed up. Okay, yeah. Because <laughs> that's, that's not happened to me at all, ever. Oh, my gosh. We can wait. It's no worries. How goes that the absolutely for real Final Fantasy? Uh, it goes pretty well tonight. It goes pretty well. We went headlong right into a uh, right into a dungeon. Get me in voice, okay. Ryu, hello. Forgot his push to talk. Whoop. If you need to set that to open mic, that's cool too. We can wait. If you want. Here we go. mad at me. Oh no! Angie Puppo. Flashbang. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, the music is just nuts. I love it. Well, it's a polar bear. There we go. There's the tiny key. The tiny what? Tiny key. Oh, a tiny key. A tiny key I'm, for a tiny lock. I noticed that our first objective was tiny key. A little odd that the bear had it, but... Oh! Her friend is a red mage. Nice! I was like, something about their spells look familiar to me. Uh oh. There we go. First boss. It's Wendell the Baker. <laughs> Do you know why kids prefer the uh, the taste of cinnamon toast cinnamon toast crunch? It's been a long time since I've seen a cinnamon toast crunch commercial. I forget uh, yeah. the flow. Oddly, I kind of want to add a redeem to the channel where somebody could like you know spend like I don't know like. 2,000 channel points, and we watch a retro commercial because it automatically plays or something like that. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah. It'd be like, you know, like a commercial for trouble with the pop bubble or something like that. Wait, remember, here I come, I am Cineman. <laughs> yes. Uh-oh. 
Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Don't stand on the green shit, Adi. We got this. No problem. Fifteen tombstones. Gosh, I love tombstones. Antique solarettes. What do I use those for? I think you'd trade them into someone for, like, some classic gear. Okay. Kyra's kicking butt. Uh oh. What? A goo boo dropped out of the sky and started beating up on you. Oh. Uh, yeah, these big these these big lads always want to smooch. There we go. Oh my gosh, Yuki. That's not a bad idea. Hydrate or die straight. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I don't wanna be I don't wanna be overly I don't know, I guess like because this is a this is kind of a, a safe place for everybody, right? So Maybe I shouldn't stand in the snow. That is that is pretty funny, I will admit. There we go. There's an ice wall. Oh. Yeah. Perimeters. That wind is really loud in my headphones. Flashbang. Oh shit, oh my god, I pulled it. That was me. Pulled what? I tab targeted and uh, it targeted one of these bird things because I was in range. The northern battle.
It is that is a cool looking Yeti, not gonna lie. I'm just suddenly realized something. You know what that is? That's just a gooboo with fur and tusks. Hmm. He looks so sad, yeah. Snowballs. I forget. Are we supposed to do something with the snowballs? I, I honestly forget. Anyway, I guess there's an AOE for the snowballs when it does the big ground sign. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's okay. Stay away from the big. Get away from the biggest snowball because it'll have the biggest AoE. Okay. Oh, now there's multiple of them. That's how we do that. Still doesn't help you from uh, not getting watched in the air. <laughs> yeah, it's almost down though. You have no choice but to get watched in the air. <laughs> yeah. GG. A bracelet of aiming. Ooh. Uh, yes, we're going. I guess that'll be good for my archer when I get to that level. Mm hmm. Class are you? Uh, I'm a gun that breaker. Simple. Gun breaker? Yeah. I'm gonna turn you up in Discord because I don't hear you very well. There we go. Oh, bombs. Uh-oh. Oh, no they don't. Me, you wanna pay attention to me? Oh, 
There we go. Oh! Woo! Got it. Nabu, thank you so much for the lurk. Also nice to see you. Hello, Nabu. I was hanging out with Nabu a little bit after I finished up stream. Uh, we were in a Picardo stream with Dr. Pirate earlier. This dungeon actually kind of reminds me of yesterday when I was playing Final Fantasy VII and I had to fight the giant icicles at the Northern Crater. Shit, I don't remember that at all. Oh, <laughs> it's been so long. Like these icicles falling from the sky with the AoEs are kind of reminding me of that. Nice. Ooh, a dove Evis. Gosh, I love Evis. Can't pull the aggro from across the cliff there. <laughs> oh. This keyboard is really sensitive. I barely have to touch the keys for it to do something, so I gotta be careful. Or to oblivion. Well, that's a bit melodramatic, isn't it? Hmm, a finger. Gosh, I love fingers. Fenrir? Defeat Fenrir. Hey, it's Twilight. How are you doing? I'm trying to remember correctly, was Fenrir a summon in earlier Final Fantasy games? Fenrir? I don't think so. I don't recognize it. Alright, y'all ready? Yep. Yep. Stand behind the things. Just like Garuda, really. Oop, now they blow up. Oh, fuck. I didn't get out in time. Neither did I. That's all right. I'll hold his attention. There we go. Hot blooded. To stand behind them, but not too close behind them. Yeah, because if you're too close, you can't run away. Shit. And it's the second time. Ooh, John got a piece too. Okay. Yeah, I'm about to say, he turns to face you guys with that. Behind the good one, I'm assuming. <laughs> what? Um. Oh no. Because three of the crystals were like cracked. Oh, oh are you serious? 
there was only one good one. That. I think our I think our fourth I think our pug. Oh, uh, they auto released. Well, crap. We've got this. <laughs> yeah. I've clutched through wars. Although I could use a heal. Working on it. Thank you. I guess gotta be a little more careful with the crystals. Yeah. Gotta look at them and figure out which one is the good one. Right over here, find me. I'm not gonna make it. I made it. Alright, I moved. Sweet. Like a well oiled machine. Indigabi, hello, welcome on in. And Silver Zoroa, hello, nice to see you. Hi, Silver. Oh, they're back. How did they make it? Oh, they're on the wrong side of the wall. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Well, they get to watch us finish this off, I guess. And, but yeah, I don't think they're going to be able to join us. Hey, do you like Star Wars because Yoda... Yoda... what? Yoda Obi-Wan for me. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Oh shit, oh shit. Alright, they're coming out. Crystal. Which one is gonna be the good one? This one! Close to me this time. We're doing great, actually. Famous last words, but we're doing great. We got this. It's like he looked right at me. I'm like, I know what that means. <laughs> I think that means crystals are about to fall. <laughs> Never mind. Doesn't, Doesn't matter. matter. <laughs> Hell yeah. There's the the crystal. It was a rando commendation. I did not get the opportunity because they left before I could do it. Oh, I was able to. I gave him the condiment. I gave him a commendation anyway. I gave them the condiments. The condiments. I gave them the ketchup. We passed the wasabi. There we go. Hi, Silver. All right, now it's time the for me to put my do not do you hot justice, bar back in order. Warrior of Light. Yes, I know who you are, and you know who I am. I was given the name Izel, but I earned the name Iceheart. I don't remember the cinematic. This endless cycle of hatred, of bloodshed, of sorrow. You would see it continue, O oh noble warrior of light. I would not. I will not. I will bring an end to this war between dragon and man, no matter the cost. 
In time, you will come to understand that what we do, we do for the greater good. For Eosia, for Hydaelyn. Okay. That took longer than I expected. What news, Avi? So, Iceheart is but a pseudonym. Not that it matters. That she managed to escape is regrettable, but from your description of that beast, you did well to come as close as you did. In any case, now that you have cleared a path, the Temple Knights can begin to survey the tunnels in earnest. Mayhap they will even find a route past the Ice Wall. Wouldn't that do wonders for their fight against the heretics? The Crystal Braves would certainly share the credit for it too, Twelve be praised, Adi. We may yet turn this situation to our advantage. Assuming we stop Iceheart before she summons Shiva, of course. Needless to say, our fellow Scions have not been idle. Minfilia and Euranger have been busy perusing the archives of House Fortan, gathering what information they can on Shiva. Which reminds me, if you were intending to trudge back to Camp Dragonhead to report on the day's events, don't. The antecedent should be here any minute. I can only assume some people enjoy subjecting themselves to this cold. Ugh. It's funny that he's like, oh, you let them escape. Or it's like, oh, not that we let them escape, but oh, no, they got away from you when no, we absolutely let them escape. Yeah. Kind of funny how often we just let bad guys walk away from us. True. But the thing is, like, if you think about it, is this voice? No, it's not. Okay. If you think about it, we don't really do anything until they attack, right? More often than not, they squeeze off the first shot. So it's like... This if, is true. Because like... Think about it. Yeah. So like, you know, if you notice, like if they don't attack first, if they're waiting for us to attack them, it doesn't happen. And we just kind of have a dialogue and then they kind of go on their merry way. It's really like, interesting. We're not the aggressor. Yeah. We're never the aggressor. Hmm. And Min Minfilia here just casually disproving the idea that they can't change clothes to suit the weather. Right. So Alphano chooses to be half naked. <laughs> Does he ever wash that? <laughs> uh, stream elements asking me out of nowhere to install an extension. That's not sus. I'm sure it's fine. That actually is something that I programmed into uh, into my my bot, my chat bot. So this stream has we have. 7 TV. Uh, it's enabled for 7 TV and BT TV. So basically, what those do is lets me continue commissioning emotes and put them there. If I, if and when I run out of emote emote slots for Twitch proper, and plus 7 TV and BT TV uh, lets you introduce different emotes to the stream also. So Nabu during the uh, Pokemon stream put in a couple emotes themselves. So now, like you know, uh, Nabu can use like cute little Nabu emotes in my chat, but only the people who have Seven TV and BT TV extensions installed in their in their browsers can see those. So that's how that works. And too hot for Twitch. Let's go. Antecedent. You come to us straight from the archives of House Fortan. I trust your time there proved fruitful? Would that it had. Yorin Jay and I scoured countless texts. What we found was... But what we found was of questionable veracity. 
Accounts of Shiva's life and deeds are sparse and contradictory, only agreeing upon one point. She lay down with a dragon, the gravest of all sins, according to the Ishgardian faith. Yet in the eyes of Iceheart's followers, this was a holy act, the blessed union of man and dragon. Bow chicka bow wow. Yomp. <laughs> How such a thing could be even possible is quite another question. Suffice it to say, I very much doubt that we will find a useful answer in the archives of House Fortan. Well, only they can see them in chat. Everyone can see them in the in-stream chat, yes. And also, yes, Yuki. <laughs> Allegedly. Much knowledge has been lost over the centuries, though in this case, one wonders if it is by circumstance or design. You said that Iceheart took a moment to plead her case prior to escaping, did you not? Hmm. Viewed without prejudice. Most would agree that bringing, to, uh, bringing an end to an endless war serves the greater good. It is a good point. I think Sir Aymeric might take issue with her methods. I do not care if a few stragglers manage to escape. Until the sappers confirm that a tunnel is safe, the men are not to search it. Yes, Lord Commander. What is a sapper? I th uh, I'm honestly. I've heard that term before. I've heard it in many different in many different games and stuff. I'm not quite sure. Somebody who like uh goes in and searches stuff and defuses bombs and things like that. I don't know. Some stuff like that. That's what I was thinking, but I just don't know for sure. Let's see what is a sapper? A sapper, also called a combat engineer, is a combatant or soldier who performs a variety of military engineering duties, such as breaching fortifications. What is that? Okay. Breaching fortifications, demolitions, bridge building, laying or clearing minefields, preparing field defenses, and road and airfield construction and repair. Interesting. Okay. It suddenly occurs to me when I think about it that the tool the spy in Team Fortress 2 uses to destroy the engineer's buildings is called a sapper. Yeah. And probably because it performs the role of a sapper. Yep. Spy sap in my sentry. Yep. Gotta move that gear up. <laughs> All right. You pursued your foes with less zeal than I expected, Sir Americk. Lest you misunderstand, I do not deny that our enemy has given us good reason to be prudent. I merely meant, you being a man of faith, that I had expected a certain single-mindedness. After all, was it not by the will of Helone that your ancestors came to this land? Why they took up arms against the Dr Dravanians? What would they have done in your position, I wonder? There are those who believe that faith is a re renunciation of free will, that unquestioning devotion is required of all who would live a life in service to the Fury. Such righteous fervor may well serve a knight on the front line, less so a leader of men. Very well put. Hmm. We are all at liberty to interpret the scriptures as we will. I choose to believe that the Fury would value the lives of her followers over the deaths of her enemies. Hmm. But I would not presume to speak for the Knights of Eld. Twas, Twas a different time, nay, a different era. The scripture tells us only so much. Would that it told us more. Casual NPC with protagonist hairstyle. Yep. Green color. That man is awfully pragmatic for a servant of the Holy See. A welcome trait at the negotiating at the negotiating table to be sure. Less so when one's enemies are making ready to harness the power of a god. 
Mayhap he does not truly believe that Iceheart's plan can succeed? Truth be told, I too remain somewhat skeptical. Shiva was real, a living, breathing woman. Of that there can be no doubt. In this respect, she differs from every other figure to have been summoned, each of whom was worshipped as a god. The sole exception being good King Mogomog uh, the Twelfth, may his name reign forever in the clouds above us, amen. The myth made manifest in response to the fervent supplications of the Mogul's guard. Saint Shiva may differ, but what of the heretics? They are a tribe of outcasts at war with a mighty nation, who yearn for the resurrection of the one who embodies their beliefs. If that is not placing one's faith in a higher power, then what is? Crystals and conviction, Menphilia. They have, they have them both in abundance. Can that truly be all that is required? My survey team has concluded a preliminary analysis of the Aetherite Iceheart used to escape. They believe that she teleported to another Aetherite, somewhere not far to the west. Despite the apparent proximity of this second Aetherite, however, they have been wholly unable to detect its presence directly. Unless Iceheart has some means to mask its signal, I can only presume she had it destroyed to prevent us from following her. Without the means to teleport as she did, we have no choice but to search for an alternate route. Most likely a tunnel, assuming one exists. Let us not give up on teleportation just yet. One of our colleagues in Charlian may be able to assist us. I pray that you are right. I dare not think how long it will take us to survey the entire tunnel system. While Menphilia looks into our Aetherite problem, I would like to request your assistance with another matter. The third unit is currently tracking the remnants of the heretic force which attacked us. However, the search goes poorly, despite our numbers. Kirthus is vast, and Iceheart's followers know the terrain far better than we. Our knowledge of this region may serve to hasten the process. The sooner we capture Iceheart's followers, the sooner we can press them for their leader's whereabouts. Also, though it... Oh, go ahead. Also, though it is admittedly a selfish request... I feel that my braves would benefit immensely from working alongside you. While we have our share of veterans, we also have more than a few less experienced recruits, many of whom look up to you, in case you were not aware. Good, I know you would understand. Yu Yu Hase can apprise you of the details. When the task is complete, come and find me at the Observatorium. Captain Ilbert and I are meeting there to discuss the latest developments in his investigation. The Temple Knights shall hold Snowcloak in our absence. Let us leave them to their work. Ours is more pressing. Interesting. Maybe no Shiva tonight. Right, let's see. <laughs> to speak with Yu Yu Hase. Who is right there? Okay. I was like, where, where, where is the little potat? There you are already. Commander Levier instructed me to wait for you. Your assistance is most welcome, believe me. Most of the third f hail from Ulda, and for a man accustomed to the feel of sand beneath his boots, the crunch of snow can be rather disconcerting. But to the matter at hand. Nary a moment would go, I received word that the heretics we seek have been spotted making for Danifin Pass. My braves are already in pursuit, and I should be grateful if you would join them. I myself shall be taking part in the hunt. Never let it be said that I do not earn my coin. 
There we go. Alright, so let's get that draft chocobo going. Perfect. There we are. Some of this really does bring back memories, but then other things I'm just like, I don't remember this. Maybe it maybe it's because they've changed so much of it that I just don't recognize it. Honestly, sometimes it feels like I'm playing the game fresh again. I feel like there's some parts of it I do remember, but at the same time, I wasn't aware that they changed anything. Yeah, so uh, they had they've streamlined the story in uh, a Realm Reborn quite a bit. There's tons of stuff that I've noticed is missing, and I think they were a little heavy-handed with it, if you ask me. Dolls hmm. balls, my ankle is on fire. Caught my boot on a rock or something and twisted it as I fell. The others went on ahead through Danifin Pass. Hurry, and you might catch up. If you aren't sure where to go, look for tracks. The snow is fresh, so they shouldn't be hard to find. All right. Chocobo time again. There's a snake in my boot. <laughs> oh, that's one thing I could add to. I could add some of Woody's pull string responses. <laughs> as a <laughs> as sound commands <laughs> okay yeah i'm going the right way i forgot to refresh my map I could also add, you've got a friend in me. Is this a burrito? You got a friend in me. In a phone call, muted until it's over. Oh, no worries. Thanks for letting me know, Poji. Fresh pots. I can play this on a ukulele. It's so fun. <laughs> fresh Prince, uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. In West Philadelphia, born and raised. On a playground, I spent most of my days chilling out, maxing, relaxing, and shooting some b ball outside of my school. But a couple of guys, they were up to no good, started making trouble in my neighborhood. But one little fight and my mom got scared. I'm going to stop now. <laughs> I can't I can't remember. Were you in the Muppet Treasure, a Treasure Island cast with Ash and the rest of the crime family? Uh, sadly not. When I heard that was going on, I was like, I want to do that. Play, play you got a friend in me on the ukulele. Ooh. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop. Get some help. I gotta add to that. I gotta add that too. Alright, I think I'm just gonna walk instead of Chocobo. Oh my god, Spoony! Spoony! Thank you so much for the raid. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Didn't I raid you earlier this morning? Is this revenge from earlier today? <laughs> oh god, I love to see You love to see it. You love to see it. Spoony good bean. It's super good bean. Oh my god. 
creatures. Thank you so thank you so heckin' much for the for the tier one resub. 15 months. Thank you so much. That was an accidental close-up. Oh my god, Spoonie, how was your heckin' stream? Luvaturn, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Let me give you let me give you a heckin' shout out, Spoonie. I adore Spoonie. Spoonie is a fantastic artist. A fantastic heckin' artist. Plays games, lots of Silent Hill stuff. I wish I had a button Gosh, for I Silent Hill crap. reference right now, but I don't. Um, but also, they, do, they are a game dev. Um, have done uh, two games so far, which you can find on itch.io, named Mix Mixed Feelings and Mixed Feelings 2. But also, on top of that, and one more thing... Spoonie is spearheading the restoration of the Kenosha Theater in Wisconsin, which is fan hackintastic, and you love to see that too. But holy heck, y'all in the chat, if y'all aren't following Spoonie Plays yet, what are you doing? Go heck and do it. Spoonie is awesome, and I just I just told you why. <laughs> Spoonie's heckin' great, and uh, Spoonie, I hope you had a great rest of your stream, and thank you so so much for the raid. Wait, Spoonie was streaming since Adi raided them? Yes. So Spoonie does a long, long stream on uh, on Saturdays. Uh, and uh, I believe Spoonie was working a lot on, like, gremlins, on their uh, their gremlin things, which are really cool. I got to commission one of those very soon. Streaming for ten and a half hours. Yeah. Stream it, like, Spoonie was going. And it was, like, it was a lot of heckin' fun. It was a lot of fun. But holy heck, yes, go follow and watch. Spoonie is amazing. I adore Spoonie, and I will gush and gush and gush forever and ever and ever, amen. But, like, I have got a video game to play. Sip, sip, bitch. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Thank you, Yuki. Ah, uh, there we go. Oop, and ear wiggles, too. Let's go. But holy heck, welcome, Raiders. My name is Adi. I am a transferry gamer from Oregon, and I mainly play RPG games. Tonight we're playing Final Fantasy XIV with some friendos, and we're uh, we're going through A Realm Reborn. It's fantastic. Oh, OG VTuber time. Y'all get to see my 2D. There we go. It's more than just a tail, I swear. There we go. I keep fucking losing in Bellatro. I'm sorry, Pidge. Hypno tail time. Let's go. It's nice to it's nice to see you creatures. But, all right, so now where do we, we need to go? 37.1k bit butt coins. A lot to waste. <laughs> all right, so do we have tracks? Nope, we've got a brave. We have a brave brave. But Spoonie, before I go, before you do anything else, please make sure, get your heckin', get your heckin' self-care stuff going on. Drink all the water, eat all the foobs. Grab a blanket and get cozy. And thank you again so much for the raid. Scion, what are you doing here? Creatures, thank you so much for the lurk. Heretics? Uh, I'm not sure. There was a great scaled beast and... <clears throat> Yuyuhasi, I think? I think he went east on his own. The heretics split up, so we did too. Hmm... Suspicious. I remember this part of the game. I do not. A hostile presence? I'll kill one of them. Here we go. There we go. How embarrassing. I was so intent on following the heretic's tracks that I almost failed to notice they had doubled back. Almost, mind you. One tried to sneak up behind me and, and got a knife in the gut for his troubles. I thought myself alone, so I started searching the dead man's knapsack for anything of interest. And lo and behold, before his friends found me, I came upon this. 
Big Bad Ardwolf. Hello. Thank you so much for the tier one hack and resub. Eight months. Thank you so much. How are you doing, Ardwolf? You kicked off a hype train. Holy heck. Ardwolf, I hope you're well. JM, thank you so much for the gift sub to Quanto XD. Thank you so much. Holy heck. Withdraw in groups of three or less to the observatorium. Give the signal and wait. The merchant will be watching. Be late and be left for dead. Y'all, Gummy Wuzzle, thank you so much for the 500 biddies. Thank you. Level one complete. Hell yeah. Let's go. Where are we at? We're working on level two. Y'all, thank you so much. Y'all are amazing. Speak for itself, does it not? They can't possibly mean a rendezvous to rendezvous inside the place, so we should restrict our search to the surrounding areas. Let me rephrase that. You should restrict your search to the wilderness around the observatorium. I will need more than a moment's rest to recover from these wounds. I'm copying the sounds from your channel point things as a vocal stim, and people are getting weirded out what? I just went wee randomly in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> well, if you just want the sounds, I can just give you sounds. That's not a big deal either. You don't have to record me. It has been a time. Lol, in and out of the hospital, sold my house, moved to Minnesota, living the dream. What? Holy shit, Ardwolf. How long has it been? Holy shit. I hope you're doing well. I'm sorry to hear that you were in the hospital. That sucks. All right, let's go. Let's go this way. This way. That's honestly Ardwolf. That is a lot. Most of it happened in the last two weeks. Jeez. Like, I had a tough week last week, but my week was nothing in comparison to that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a bit much, but life do be a bit much, yeah. But I am, you know what, Ardwolf, I am hopeful that it's going to calm down for you and you can kind of get to some sort of normalcy very soon. Yeah, I hope the hospital thing wasn't too bad either. It's a random house. Oop, I'm getting beans. Bean! There we go. Is this where we need to go? Maybe it is? Oh yeah, because duh, it's the, it's the observatorium. I love that bean. <laughs> Well, we love you, Pidge. Nope. That's not where we need to go. I'm just a little guy. A little creature. I make the cringe things. You make lovely things. Absolutely lovely things. And get drunk on Tuesdays. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> that sounds great. That sounds great. Alright, how many fucking doors do I have to open to find whatever freaking quest this is? I think it's on the outside of the wall. Okay. I forgot people were in the call with me. <laughs> it's okay, Poji's... Been in call still, I think. Yeah. And I've just been quiet. To be a cringe ass Nene baby is to be free. You are correct. Creature. And I would know all about cringe. <laughs> 
Pidge is honestly one of my favorite folks. Pidge is a good bean. Yeah. I am through with listening to your excuses. We leave now. Oh, Anomaly, thank you. How? The woods are crawling with those blue coats, and the knights are searching every wagon that passes through the gates. Well, stay with her then, if you think you'll fare any better. Now, now, there's no need for that. Y'all, thank you so much for that hype train. Y'all are amazing. There are places like this in my homeland. Sacred snow-capped peaks where blood must not be shed. Yet your hands ever thirst for the blood of the fallen, and by your deeds that has drunk deep. N no, I have done no wrong. None but meet in secret with heretics. Deny it all you will. We shall have the truth from you yet. Inquisitors are not the one, the only ones skilled in the art of interrogation. I'm back, by the way. Welcome back. Damn it all. <gasps> oh no. Fancy meeting you here, Adi. I presume your work with the third brought you hither? What a tangled web. Lest you wonder, we came not for the heretics, but for the merchant who has been conspiring with them. He came to our attention during the course of our investigation into the ivy. It beggars belief, I know, but it seems that our favorite Garlean spy may have been providing assistance to Icehart. Were it not for the efforts of Lady Ugiri and her shinobi, we might, we might never have discovered this connection. Master Alfano is too kind. I fear my people and I have done little to avoid your search for this spy. L little to aid your search for this spy, excuse me. We long to strike back against the Empire and weaken their influence in this land to provide the tragedy which befell Doma from reoccurring. The days ahead and work the days ahead and the work they promise will require a very particular set of skills, skills which I am fortunate enough to possess. If you will allow it, I would accompany you until the vesti investigation is complete. That is a most generous offer, Lady Ugiri, and one which I gladly accept. A very particular set of skills. Yes, Pidge. My mind went the same place, but yep. I couldn't remember the quote well enough to meme it. Yep, yep. I forget what movie that was. It wasn't Taken, but it was like, a, it was something else. It was Taken. It was Taken? Okay. Yeah. Jordan the Kitty, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. I remember seeing Jordan from uh, Spoonie's stream, I believe. Mrow! Yes. My sentiments exactly. This particular set of skills. <laughs> Twerking emote. <laughs> Smallest waffle. Welcome on in. Same. Mow, mow, mow. Mow, mow. Thank you. Though I may disappear for a time, know that I shall never be far and shall always be watching comforting thought. Come, Adi, let us wait inside with, for Captain Ilbert to return and deliver his report. All right, wife. Mm. I know she's got to be an aura. I've seen the tale. So, Yugiri, Yugiri is awesome, but Yishtola, my heart, my heart belongs to Yishtola. Ryu Stola. knows. This. Yeah, Ryu knows this. <laughs> Something about the way Yugiri dresses too reminds me of um. I can't I remember the character's name now. Um. The purple alien from Mass Effect. What was her name? Shit. The ones where they had to like dress up full coverage because they had weak immune systems. Yeah, something like that. She wore a suit. I forget what her name was. Fuck. I loved her. Like, so much. 
and Yugiri with her full coverage in purple just reminds me of that character mm. on top of her being a, an Aura. Uh, Gillian has it. It's Tali Zora. Tali, yes. I love Tali. No. Uh, I still want to make a, a, an Adi Live 2D model with the bounciest booba. <laughs> I might just do that. <laughs> Pidge, oh my god. I would... You gotta let me pay you for that. You gotta let me commission that. Yes, absolutely. You gotta, you gotta let me. Who needs that stuff? Everyone does. Because fuck capitalism. I am the death of Fizzy Bitchin. It's so sad. <laughs> Captain Ilbert seemed confident that the merchant's resolve would swiftly crumble when pressed. If so, we should have new information ere long. I would pitch in too. I'm so gay. I need to see that. <laughs> well, that's the thing, though. It's like I have, I have V802 PNG tubers, right? I have a 3D. I have a 3D avatar. The only thing I'm missing is a live 2D avatar. The only thing. I know you can, Pidge. I've been eyeballing your skills for a very long time with Live 2D. As to whether it will bring us any closer to learning the Ivy's identity, I would rather not say. Given our adversary's cunning, I shall consider us fortunate if we are spared another wild dodo chase. The gods know we have more than enough to occupy our time as it is. Oh yeah, because we've got the the revolt in Ulda, and then we've got the Ivy, and then there's Lady Iceheart. We certainly got plenty to do. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The only problem with the only problem with a live two D, a live two D avatar, is because I had had other plans for uh, for live 2d so i don't know if i can run two instances of live 2d and have two different avatars on the screen because i was kind of thinking it's like you know what if i had my tts mascot be live 2d instead of just like a pair of animated images right what if it was live 2d instead and something like that so i'm still i'm still working it out and i haven't used it live 2d at all so i don't know what would or wouldn't work uh oh you're what oh my tts mascot so opposite little me moss. yeah little little moss who's opposite me is actually a t my uh my tts bot but i a, tts hasn't been working for a while because biku bot hasn't been working correctly for me so i need to fix it but that little that little goof in the on the in the opposite corner actually talks it may resemble Adi, but is not actually Adi. No, that's why that's why Lil Moss disappears and flies across the screen naked. Yeah, there we go. Lil Moss does that, but also talks. <laughs> the splash picture on this next quest, though, has me really interested. Well, let's take a look. Got all three of the leaders together. Oh, wow. Okay. Which we haven't seen since the Alliance. Yeah. Captain Ilbert, your report, if you will. Aye, Commander. Firstly, with regard to the heretic we captured, I regret to say that the man could tell us not that we did not already know of Shiva. We have since handed him over to the Ishgardian authorities. Henceforth, the Holy See will pursue the matter independently. Oop, too hot for Twitch. Our inquiries concerning the Ivy, however, have proven more fruitful. We have ascertained the channel by which the heretics acquired their information on the shipment routes. Hazarino, hello, welcome on in. How you doing, Haas? I hope you're having a good night. Or wait, actually, I think it's probably morning for you, isn't it? Or it is super wee early in the morning. I forget. 
Actually, I think it's like super. Freak up, slut. I think it's super late. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Twilight. I shall. Ah, uh, yum. I just woke up at nearly 4 a.m. now. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Yeah, Hazarino is a UK bean. I hope you slept well. Uh, let's see. Of our bean from the other side of the pond. Mm. By the way, y'all should go follow and watch Hazarino. Do it. Do it. Go on. You will recall the flame we first identified as being the in the Ivy's employ? From him, we were able to trace a trail of conspirators, each taking us closer to his master. Alas, the trail came to an abrupt end. Fearing that the investigation had been compromised, we took the necessary step of detaining all suspected of conspiracy. There were five on our list, including a flame stationed in Revenant's Toll. The man's primary duty was to keep an inventory of donations from abroad, the particulars of which he would share with, with benefactors, thereby ensuring that needs did not go unfulfilled. By virtue of his role, he was privy to the details of all shipments bound for the settlement. Needless to say, that included those originating from House Forton. He knew the precise route the caravan would take, and he sold that information to a merchant. I don't think I can guess which one. None other. With a little encouragement, he soon confessed to knowing and aiding abet abetting the heretics. Andy, thank you so much. Well, that is one mystery solved, at least. But what of the ivy? Are we any closer to prizing, uh, prizing off his mask? <laughs> Actually, we do have the Bois Redeem also. I dare say we are, Commander. Our relentless pursuit has forced him to commit a grave error. Oh, actually, Andy, um, it's them. Uh, Huzz's pronouns are they, them. Oh, no worries. No worries. Oh, no. We all make mistakes. We, we all must make mistakes, uh, including me. I do, I, I do that on occasion. I'm Nobody... actually surprised we're able to get away with the walls right now. That's very true. But no longer. <laughs> <laughs> what if when the too hot for Twitch redeem is active, the water bottle is also pixelated? Yeah, but if I have a sticker on there that says dumb bitch juice, how would people read it? <laughs> <laughs> I have to make another animation in Live 2D, sadly, so I probably shouldn't just randomly make the Audi Live 2D model. Honestly, Paige, no worries. If if and when you get the opportunity to do so, I will absolutely commission it. I will give you money for something like that. That is a lot of work. A ton of work. It's also the issue of Twitch unfollowing for whatever reason, yeah. So usually what I suggest about that is when you go to a page and you see on the unfollow button highlighted with like a little word bubble, just move your cursor over to the chat buffer and it'll clear it. It won't happen every time you go to a stream, but whenever you see that, just just mouse over to the chat buffer and put your uh, and put your cursor in there. If you want to commission it, then you can go for it. I don't want to push comms on people. Honestly, no, Pidge. Pidge, I've been eyeballing that for a really long time, so I'm glad you said something about it. You saved me a step. In a desperate bid to cover his tracks, the Ivy resorted to exercising certain administrative powers available only to high-ranking members of the Immortal Flames. 
If you consider then that our investiga investigation is known to barely a handful of them, the field of suspects is greatly narrowed. You mean to say that the agent is among Raban's innermost circle? Someone who has been with him since the Immortal Flames establishment? It is the most plausible, plausible explanation. The infiltration likely occurred during the company's founding, with the groundwork for the act being laid beforehand. To slip into a position of authority unremarked and remain above suspicion all these years? I'm gonna go lay down. I'm so fucking tired. Have a good stream. Ah, uh, no worries, Pidge. Take care. Have a good rest. Have a good night. I will, uh, I will bother you via DM tomorrow. <laughs> Have a good if one, Pidge. That one of Raban's, like, uppermost confidants has been a Garlean spy this whole time. How did we not get caught when we, like, had our big five-step plan to push out the Garleans? How was that not figured out sooner? I don't know. A bit, but it might be the timing of which this person got into that position, which might be a factor. They seem to be suggesting that they would have had to have been in that position from the get-go. Hmm. I guess we'll see. Deep cover agent. They couldn't uh, afford to blow their cover. Yeah. <laughs> Despite what a catastrophic uh, disaster that was for the Garleans. Yeah, see, it's like a... S it's like a secret agent man. Secret agent man. <laughs> I, I too was surprised, though I really should not have been. Of the three grand companies, Old Oz was ever the more vulnerable to infiltration. No kidding. You can bother me in DMs anytime. I am a talkative person. I appreciate that. I never shut up. I would never want you to, Pidge. Take care. Have a great night. Both Limsa Lominsa and Gridania had long-standing armed forces that I lent that bleh, that lent themselves well to the formation of the Maelstrom and the Order of the Twin Adder. To all intents and purposes, it was the same people, loyal ones mind, under the same leadership. Only the banner was different. Not so the flames. Old Oz military was made up of disparate orders, most of which were glorified mercenary companies that answered only to their own paymasters. Pepets. Given the rather capitalistic bent of Ulda, I guess that would make sense. Originally, given also that the council is made of, what do they call them, the monetarists? Yeah. Originally, before they had Ulda as a nation had its own army, it was probably just a bunch of mercenary organizations hired by individual monetarists. Yeah. And if you think about it, like, in a, in a, in a more, in a broader scope, Essentially, like, you know, you've got a society that literally worships money, right? Every yeah. That means everyone is for sale. Everyone. So, and no one is above it. So, I mean, it also, it's like, basically, if somebody has deep enough pockets, they can buy themselves, a, you know, a conspiracy. Like the merchant who probably had no loyalties to anything except the idea of making more money. Exactly. Exactly. I'm for sale. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Ulda is a very pretty place, but it's also like the most corrupt and arguably evil. Yeah, and that's why it's just like that that's that shit's just not for me. And that's why I always start out in Gridania. I always start out in Gridania because it's just like it's the woods. Everybody's just kind of like, you know, kind of happy-ish, I guess. And I mean, the others have their problems, too. Like, Gridania has a lot of deep-seated xenophobia because of mm -hmm. the nature of the, the elementals. shroud. Yeah, the elementals and all that. Mm. I would actually say probably the least problematic, despite the fact that they originated as pirates, would probably be Limsa. But Gridania is a very beautiful place. Yeah. Limsa's pretty, too. Limsa yeah. is pretty too. Hardly an ideal environment in which to establish something as high-minded as a grand company. Rogue Spike. 
Hello, welcome on in. How was your stream Rogue tonight? Bee. Rogue Spike is a good bean. Dragon? Dapper Dragon Rid, yes. Rogue Spike is a is a is a good heckin' derg. How was Deep Rock Galactic tonight? I haven't played that game in a hot minute. Zeno Gordon, hello, welcome on in. Ujayo1990, hello, welcome on in. That is a cute friggin' emote. Oh my god. That is so cute. I want one like that. It was a Cashel Crasher's stream at first. Uh, we finished it and swapped to Deep Rock. Nice. Hell yeah. Rogue, thank you so much for the raid. And welcome on in, Raiders. My name is Adi, and I am a transfer gamer from Oregon. I mainly play RPG games, and tonight we're playing Final Fantasy XIV with some friendos. And, uh, I, we're... I am a friendo. You're a friendo? Yeah. yeah. I'd say so, yes. I agree. And so is Ryu. And everyone in the stream. You mean big Yoshi emote? That was a birthday gift from last year. Hell yeah. I love it. But folks, uh, yeah, welcome on in. And But Rogue, before you do anything else, please make sure you get your self-care stuff going on. Drink all the water and eat all the foobs. Grab yourself a blanket and get cozy. Soren K. Fox, welcome on in. I actually borrowed one of your sayings earlier today when I got a raid. I was like, as my friend Adi likes to say, streaming is hard. Streaming is hard. You'll also be hearing from my lawyer, lawyer Porgy. <laughs> Back to the game. <laughs> The difficulties Raban faced when founding the Immortal Flames were well known. <laughs> Weird. They think Adi's joking. <laughs> I am joking. I would never do something like that. Honestly, I don't have any secrets here. Folks want to know how I do things so they could do them in their streams. I'm all for it. I am all for it. Forget who it was, but I remember someone saying not too long ago that they just went wee wee. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I should probably. Uh, I can't turn it off right now, but I will in a second. Mike Tron, hello, welcome on in. The difficulties Raban faced when founding the Immortal Flames are well known. Even after he had convinced his fellow Syndicate members to share the cost, there remained the small matter of finding enough bodies to fill the ranks. Indeed. And given the pressing nature of the Imperial threat, that meant recruiting every passing soul sword. Amidst the chaos of its founding, it would have been child's play to infiltrate the company. A good deal easier than now, aye. The Immortal Flames have ever been caught between conflicting interests, the public and the private. Though the Monetarists ultimately agreed to support the organization's founding, it was not out of charity that they did so, but simple self-preservation. Had not Nail Van Darnus's ambitions been any less apocalyptic, you may be sure that they would never have risked supplying Raban with an army. Tis but a wonder they did not attempt to extinguish the flames the moment the danger had passed. <clears throat> Returning to the present. Even as we speak, our Domon allies are shadowing several high-ranking flames, any one of whom could be the Ivy. Desiring to deal a blow against the Empire, the refugees were eager to lend us their aid. I suspect to hear from them ere long. Very good. Pray continue your investigation with the first. Meanwhile, we have the second attend to the unrest. The third can join the fourth in inspecting crystal shipments. If they notice anything unusual, I want to know about it. If Shiva is summoned in like manner to the other primals, the heretics will be looking for further supplies. Understood, Commander. I shall send word to Sir Amaric informing him of our success in identifying the heretics at betters. Hopefully the information will be of some use to the Ishgardians. It is time, Commander. Yes, I am aware. An emergency council of the Alliance leadership has been called. There have been developments in Garlemald, it would seem. 
As commander of the Crystal Braves, my presence has been requested. I would have you accompany me, Adi. As the realm's stoutest champion, tis only... Tis only meet that you present for the discussion. Oh, and the antecedent has already given her consent, bless you, Irie. Okay. Such whiplash. Like, we started <laughs> this thinking we were going to be fighting Shiva, and now we're about to leave the area, having not fought her yet. Yeah. I guess we'll see. We'll see. Like me, you are doubtless eager to conclude our business with Iceheart. But until another path to her sanctum is found, we shall, we will remain beyond our, she will remain beyond our reach. I'm starting to, st I'm starting to stumble over my words now. I might be getting EP. No. Min Minfilia and the Archons are sparing no effort to secure an alternate route. Until such time as they succeed, I shall, I suggest we give some thought to the realm's other problems. I shall go on ahead to Gridania in readiness for the coming council. Meet me at Nafaka's altar, and we shall make our way to the Lotus Stand together. Alrighty, Yuki. Take care. Have a great night. Have a good eep. Alright. To Gridania. To old Gridurnia. 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 But first, we have to go to New Gadurnir to go to Old Gadurnir. It's Duskridania. <laughs> Duskridania. Politics intermission. Yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, boy. Ethernet to Look. Conjurer's Guild. Yep. Kumba, hello. Welcome on in. Kumba's a good bean, too. Gosh. <laughs> My thanks for coming, Adi. When you are ready, speak with the conjurer yonder. She will show us to the Lotus Stand. You flatter me, Adi. I'm just a dork. Well, you know what? I'm just a dork, too. We are dorks together. We are all dorks. Yes. And I will never not love that emote. That it's me emote. Kumba, it is amazing. <laughs> The Alliance leaders wait you in Lotus Stand. Will you be joining them now? Yeah. So who I just talked to was the Silent Conjurer. Are they really silent if they're talking? Change has come to the Garlean Empire, and we must discuss the implications. The rumors are true, then? The war of succession is ended. It is. A new emperor reigns in Garlemald. Who? Boomst. The birth and all too rapid expansion of the Garlean Empire is commonly attributed to the strategic brilliance of Solus Zosgalvis, yet he did not rule alone. Several members of the royal household also distinguished themselves during his reign. Nevertheless, it was the eldest son who stood to inherit the throne until his most untimely passing. I thought us fortunate when I learned that the Emperor had died without naming a successor. Would that the Garlean Empire had died with him.
was the grandson and his uncle who had the strongest claims, was it not? Indeed. Yet claims count for little without the power to assert them. High Legatus Varus Ye Galvis is a respected military leader. Not so his uncle. So young Varus has torn the crown from his uncle's grasp and taken his place at the head of the Empire. You, Andy. Given the troubled nature of his succession, the new emperor will require time to seal his grip on power. Yet have no doubt but that he shall, for there are none left with strength enough to oppose him. Since the success of Operation Archon, the remnants of the 14th Legion and the forces occupying Alamigo have done naught but fortify their positions. But you can be sure they'll be ready to march on us again, if their Emperor gives the word. When, not if. They say this Varus was so set upon Eorzean annexation that he spoke out against the Meteor Project. Plainly, the new Emperor's intentions are of great concern to us all. I propose that we set aside the Cartano dispute for the present and discuss what measures the Alliance might take to prepare for a resumption of hostilities with Garlemald. Moreover, I move that we re-examine the question of how our former allies in Ishgard might be persuaded to retake their place at our side. Could Eorzea but stand as one, it would deal a grave blow to our enemy's ambitions. Well, I suppose we should be grateful that they have finally acknowledged the inevitability of Imperial attack. Who knows? They may even do something about it. If only the leaders of Ishgard would follow their example, and stop hiding behind their gates, praying for the coming storm to pass them by. They have kind of their own problems right now. But that is a discussion for another time. At present, I am more concerned by the fact that the Alliance's mooted preparations will be made known to the Garleans many moons before their coming. So long as the Ivy eludes our grasp, no secret is safe. Oh, yeah. He really is quite sassy, huh? He is. Very passive aggressive when things aren't going the way he wants them to. Yep. He's also kind of full of himself, too. We'll not have escaped your notice that the nations of Eorzea are no nearer to being of one purpose, despite their protestations to the contrary. Plainly, the threat of a resurgent Garlemald is not enough to stir them. And the reason for this? Deep-rooted mistrust amongst the citizenry. The nation's leaders can come to all the understandings they like, but their unity means little and less to the common folk. Take the Lamentants, for instance. 
Though Admiral Merlewib outlawed piracy over a decade ago, foreigners still picture the nation as as a haven for grog-swilling wood, wooden-legged cutthroats. And likewise, the Gridanians are marked, mocked as hermits who talk to the trees, and the Uldan scorned as swindlers who worship coin. Wow, what was the discussion we literally had ten minutes ago? Yeah, I'm like, he's not wrong. No. <laughs> not that such sentiments are entirely without grounds, of course. Take that pillar of Uldan society to Leji Adeleji. Oop, OG VTuber. OG is getting a lot of love tonight. I like it. Take that pillar of Old Dawn society to Leji Adeleji, for example. But that is beside the point. The fact is that people are wary of outsiders, whether they have cause to be or not. On that basis, one could argue that the conflict in Cartano is a necessary evil. Each nation has its own warmongering faction that advocates the acquisition of Omega. In order to placate them, we present them something resembling warfare, and thereby curb their appetite for full-scale conflict. But enough idle musing. Let us speak of a more pressing matter, the Ivy. Since we spoke at the Observatorium, Captain Ilbert has further shortened his list of suspects. And by happy coincidence, the one he deems the most likely candidate is lately is lately come to Gridania. The hunt nears its end, Adi. All that remains is to corner our quarry. Seek out Ilbird near the adder's, adder's nest. He will give you the particulars. Should there be any developments in Kurthus, you may be sure I will send word without delay. In the meantime, I wish you success in apprehending the ivy. I mean, if this guy is in fact the Ivy, it would make sense for him to come to Gridania because, you know, the leaders of all of the major companies just met here. He'd probably want to be close by to try to listen in. True. True. He or she, because I don't actually know who this person is. Yeah. Pretty sure I remember oh, we're going the wrong way. Is, but I won't say. Yes. Loose lips sink ships. Keep, oh, to keep... be honest, this is a ship that's worth sinking. <laughs> well, I'm the the ship I was referring to as in our uh, our Final Fantasy fun on stream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Thick hips sink ships. <laughs> M30, hello. How you doing? It's nice to see you, Bean. My, mine do, anyway. As do mine. My thanks for coming, Sion. Doubtless the commander has informed you, but we have unmasked the ivy. From this point on, we must proceed with extreme caution. For some reason, I was given a bowl of haddock dip for that quest. Neat. That sounds which delicious, is, actually. Which is food for gathering. <laughs> Pretty good. Been lurking a bit. I'm up late doing video editing, so it's nice to have your stream up to entertain me while it renders right on. I miss chatting with you, Em. I need to poke you more on Telegram. Listen well. The spy we have been seeking all this time is none other than the Flame Marshal Eline Royal, Raban's second in command. Prior to joining the Immortal Flames, she was a mercenary of no small renown. They say her skill with a polearm has They say her skill with a polearm had to be seen to believe. If of Ishgardian birth, she is the highest-ranked foreigner in the Immortal Flames, barring the Flame General himself, of course. Thank you for risking your life. Here's some French onion dip. It goes really well with the Lay's. <laughs> Same. March has been he uh, heckin' busy for me. April is all about my computer friends, though. Right on. 
When he formed the Grand Company, Raban chose people based on their worth. Whence they hailed was of no interest. The monetarists saw things differently, however. Having funded the Enterprise, they reserved the right to reject candidates nominated for high-ranking positions. And it was no secret that they did not favor foreigners. Ishgardians especially, after the way the Holy See forsook the Alliance. Yet the monetarists did not raise so much as a murmur of protest when Royale was appointed to her post. Passing strange, is it not? Could it be that the Ivy has some bowl, some hold over the monetarists? Interesting. But these revelations are secondary to our current mission. Of foremost interest to us is Royale's presence here now. As you may be aware, it is the duty of the Flame Marshal to command the Immortal Flames in absence of the Flame General. While Raban attended the Council of Alliance leaders, she should have remained in the Hall of Flames. But she was at the meeting also. Hmm. Was she? Yeah, I actually remember seeing her. Because oh, I okay. took note of her black and gold attire. Right. Or so I'm like, oh, she looks interesting, but I didn't say anything because I didn't want to interrupt the voice to cut scene. Yeah. Yum drinks the whole thing. Yes. Oh god, I love French onion dip. Not gonna lie, I don't drink it, but I love it. Oh my god. And incidentally, I find it now funny that I corrected my earlier statement. I'm like he or she, <laughs> and it turns out it is in fact a she. The woman has no business being in Gridania, yet here she is nonetheless. On some pretense. She is up to something, mark my words. Even as we speak, I have a dozen men trawling the flames records for evidence of Royal's guilt. But if we but if we can catch her red handed, we shall have all the proof we need. Which brings me to the plan. I have people watching the city gates, the airship landing, and the docks. Every point of egress. She cannot leave without our knowledge. All that remains is to shadow her until she betrays her true purpose. Can I rely upon your eyes, Sion? You have my thanks. Let us go, then. And, tear, and take care not to alert our quarry. So what now? Speak to him again, but now further up. Yeah. There he is. Adi prefers to bathe in French onion soup. Ah. Uh, yes, I prefer to ba to bathe in French onion soup, in a tiny little hollowed-out burrito of a boat. How's that? Rael is headed in the direction of the Blue Badger Gate. With me, Sion. Badger, 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 badger. Mushroom, mushroom. Ideal date night, right? Honestly, can you think of a better date night than just sitting around, just like you and another person, just eating a bunch of just junk comfort food? That just sounds amazing to me right now. Sounds delicious, honestly. Yeah. So Rael has entered the Carline Canopy. Meeting someone, perchance? Or could it be she means to board an airship? Pray look for her within. If she is not on the upper floor, try the landing area below. Maybe it's the ace in me, but that is a perfect evening, right? Multivi! Shit. Cinema mode is on, so it won't make the sound. Shit. I will when when I turn it off, I will trigger the sound manually. How's that? Please make it for us. <laughs> no! No! I will not do that! 
<laughs> Use your voice to do it. No, I will not. <laughs> you still <one> of us. <laughs> All right. Okay. Give me one second. Give me one second. Do 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 do. do. I gotta open. Oh, you, I have to open. You didn't read that text. Do you want me to read it instead? Uh, yeah. Please do. One of mine is stationed there, and she may have seen something. Ethemy is her name. I shall remain here in case Roel reappears. Ah, perfect. Thank you. All right, all right, Faulty Vi, for your for your fifty two biddies, this is what it's supposed to do. Why isn't it triggering? Okay, the mode is still on. Okay, I'll do this. Nice car. Perfect. There we go. Thank you for the fifty two biddies, Vi, and the compliments. I appreciate it. Okay, where is she? I think she's on the lower level. Yeah. <laughs> Worth. <laughs> There's Ephemy. Adi Squeegee! Such an unexpected pleasure. What brings you here? <clears throat> A social visit, you say? How pleasant! No, she did not come this way. I've noted every passenger and none bore any resemblance. Well, don't let me keep you. Hmm. Sounds like she may have managed to ditch us. Maybe. Nowhere to be seen, you say? You are sure she did not board an airship? Hmm. She did not come back out, either. Where in the seven hells could she have gone? The roost. How could I forget? Greetings, good sir. Might I interest you in some mun -tui tonic? A cup a day imbues a man with great vigor, if you take my meaning. <laughs> Perhaps another time, friend. Wait, that necklace. You are a shinobi of Doma. Horny juice. Oh, yeah. Oh, no! Lily Mouse! Lily Mouse, thank you so heck much for the raid. Welcome on in. Sneaky Mouse. Sneaky Mouse brings the cheeses. Hell yeah. Gosh, I love cheese. I do love cheese. Oh my god. No Man's Sky. How is No Man's Sky tonight? No Man's Sky. Lily, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you so, so much. And welcome, raiders. My name is Adi. I'm a transfer gamer from Oregon, and I mainly play RPG games. Tonight, we're playing Final Fantasy XIV with friendos. Cheese is good. Hell yeah. But Lily, before you do anything else, I want to hear all of, I want to hear all about your stream. But before you do that, go heck and get yourself some self care. Get some water, get some food, get some, get a blanket. You know, get cozy and uh, tell us all about it. Fun building and exploring, hell yeah. And Lily, thank you so so much. The woman you seek has left Gridania by way of the West Shore Pier. She was attired as a merchant, but that these eyes are not so easily deceived. Wild Saber, hello, welcome on in. Weird and thought-provoking question. If we lived in a Who Framed Roger Rabbit world where where would the line be drawn on marriage, for example? Dolly from 101 Dalmatian Street, uh, who is a talking dog or sentient vehicle like taxi from Roger I honestly I don't know. Arcanist test. 
I think Wild Saber is, uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> I think Wild Saber is trying to test to see if I'm a robot or not. The Squirrely, hello, welcome on in. Oh, Harkness test. You didn't you didn't say Turing test. Okay. You may wish to take your search to the East Shroud. Rest assured that we shall continue to support you from the shadows. At this point, I think she might know that she's being followed. Maybe, yeah. Here's a question for y'all. If you were a hot dog, would you eat yourself? No. No, I wouldn't. I barely eat hot dogs as not a hot dog. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Droxel, hello, welcome on in. When a gingerbread man, when a ginger, I, I forget how exactly it goes, but if a gingerbread man entered a gingerbread house, would the house, would it, would the gingerbread man be made of house or would the house be made of, of flesh? There's a question. Thank the 12 for the Domons. Were it not for the un their unique talents, Royale would have disappeared without a trace. He screams for he does not know. <laughs> also being redeemed right on. Perfect. Oh, I did bean. Okay. I think it might be that I have... I have, uh, I had Sammy board up. Bean! I miss the old Sammy, Sammy Decca dashboard. I really do. And pet pets. I'll do the bean pets. There we go. That are slightly off. It's a trick question because they are made of two very different types of gingerbread. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Gingerbread is gingerbread. You know, incredible in Incredibles meme guy. Like, gingerbread is gingerbread. And he's underwater. Go two ahead. Two different types of gingerbread. Then that's, but that's still gingerbread. So in the sense it'd be like, if we as humans lived in houses made of gorilla meat. <laughs> that is so fucking cursed. <laughs> when he's underwater, does he get wet or does the water get him instead? Nobody knows, Particle Man. <laughs> oh, man. I fucking love gingerbread. I love gingerbread, too. But the thing is, gingerbread can't be too crispy. It's got to have a little bit of give to it, and that's the hard part. The soft part. Yeah. Thanks, I hate that mental image. <laughs> I fucking love, love soft gingerbread. Fuck, I'm hungry. I am hungry too, actually. Me too, but it's too late for me to get anything, so I'll have to raid the pantry later. Well, see, the thing um, is, the thing is, in a moment of weakness, in a moment of weakness, when I was at the grocery store on Thursday, I picked up like a box of this microwave chicken fried rice, and like, I, <laughs> and I was like looking at this box. I'm like, there's no way this can be good, but it's cheap enough that I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna give it a try. So I take it, I take it home and I cooked one bag of it, which is like three minutes, right? It's already got like the little bits of like all the little stuff. Like it's got like little lima beans and peas and carrot pieces and stuff like that. I nuked that and I put it in a bowl and I ate it and it was delicious. And I'm like, that is a crime. It is a crime that chicken fried rice tasted that good from the microwave. Our hunt leads us to the East Shroud, Scion. I suggest we follow Royale's example and take the ferry from the West Shore Pier. You'll doubtless wish to make certain preparations. See to them while I go on ahead. I shall wait for you at Sweet Bloom Pier. 
The fact that he's suggesting we need to make preparations suggests to me that there's going to be a fight when we get there. Oh, uh, there could be. I honestly, I don't remember at all. Oh, uh, so yeah, let's... This let's, way. Let's see. And we will want to take the Aethernet to the Lancer's Guild to get there quickly. Gotcha, okay. Well, where I was going with that fried rice, I've, I have one more bag left in the fridge because I can't stop eating it. I'm gonna have that as soon as I, uh, as soon as I wrap up stream tonight. Lancers Guild, let's go. Gosh, I love Lancers. And then take the ferry to Sweet Bloom Pier. All right. Welcome back, Pidge. Also, hi, hello. I'm not eeping now. What? Why are you not eeping? Curry chicken rice is something I make with canned chicken and microwave rice. Right on. Oh, Sounds yeah. delicious, too, it, to be honest. It really does. Gosh, I'm hungry. Yeah. Mm. Gosh, I love food. Why did I, I press the wrong pet pet button? Uh, okay, I guess that means I just I just trigger all the pet pets. Here we go. There we are. Uh, okay, now I turn back, and now all the pets are on my face. Okay, I, I promise I can still play video games like this. I promise. Yes, yes. Please pet my eyeballs. <laughs> A mask made of hands. All right, this way, my friends. Ooh, it's Yugiri. Oop, ear wiggles, 3D. Let's go. And some free butt wiggles, too. Why not? Your quarry makes for the Hawthorne Hut. If Royale is truly the one we seek, we can expect that she means that she means to make contact with her Garlean masters there. Just gotta stay. Just gotta stay calm and keep getting pet pets. Yep. An explanation is in order. You were no doubt aware that the Garlands have their own method of communicating over great distances. Well, our in ingenious friends at Garland Ironworks have provided us with devices which disrupt these communications, and we have installed them around the city states. In so doing, we have made it difficult for Imperial agents to correspond with their masters. Royale would thus have no choice but to rendezvous with her Imperial contact directly. Yet, as a well-known face in the Immortal Flames, she cannot move about Thanalan without being recognized. It would only be a matter of time before someone saw through her disguise. Tis for this reason, I believe, that she has chosen the Black Shroud for her clandestine meeting. The Elizen are a common sight here, and her comings and goings are, n are not like to turn any heads. Except for her pink anime hair. Gosh, I love pet pets. Same. As my scouts tell it, the Garlands have sent agents with a mind to destroy the devices and render such direct contact unnecessary. Fortunately, our shinobi have thus far been successful in rebuffing their efforts. This is it. We need only make for Hawthorne hut, Hawthorne's hut and catch Royale in the act. Ooh, here we go. The Mori to my honey. Mm. I need somebody to just follow me around everywhere and just pet me when I need them. Honestly, that sounds really great. I 
I got you. <laughs> Were you going to follow me around and pet me all the time? Yeah, see, I'm petting you. Are you, though? I need pets. Pet me. Pet me. More pets. More pets. More pets. Okay, that's enough. Oh, I actually kneel to pet you. <laughs> that's enough pets. Oh, oh <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now Pidge isn't on the act. There we go. I think I might do that, like, in the middle of the stream sometime. Just, like, stop whatever I'm doing and just be like, Pet me! <laughs> I demand pets! Nago, hello, welcome on in. Oh. Ooh. My people report that our quarry has departed for the Bramble Patch. The ivy return returns to the gnarls whence she came. But but perhaps it is all for the better. To convict someone of her standing, we will require damning evidence against her. What could be better than to catch her in the act when she meets with her Garlean masters? My countrymen and I shall lie in wait in the shadows. Tread warily, my friends. Through the bramble patch. Through the bramble patch. Oh, I see purple swirlies. Gosh, I love swirlies. Wait, that could be taken out of context. Oh, the purple swirlies was actually enemies respawning. Never mind. <laughs> oh, squirrelies? No, squirrelies. Just beyond, Royale is in conversation with an individual clad in the manner of an adventurer. An imperial intermediary, no doubt. This is it. With me! Those are some thick-ass brambles. Flame Marshal Aline Royale, you are under arrest for treason and espionage. You were followed, you bloody fool. Damnation. kind of fucked. Hmm. You are unarmed, my lady, and scarcely garbed for battle. But if you wish to fight, you are welcome to try. What is the meaning of this, Captain? Would you arrest me for strolling in the Twelveswood? When last I looked, that was no crime, and neither was conversing with passing strangers. You would feign ignorance, then. Very well. If you do think if you do think of something to say, there will be plenty of time to say it later. Now, come quietly, or I shall make you wish you had. I will offer you no struggle. After all, I have not to hide.
How does sleep work? Do I need to pay a subscription fee? If I, d if I pay more, do I stop waking up in the middle of the night? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a mood. That's probably why I had to take an afternoon nap. Even a warrior of Royale's renown could not have hoped to escape by force. Despite her claims, her surrender does not bespeak innocence, but an awareness that her position is untenable. Too hot for Twitch. With the ivy thus uprooted, it is, it is to be hoped that the tendrils she entwined around the immortal flames will gradually wither and die. Mayhap then the people of Volda will have the grand company they deserve. But let us speak of the present. If I may ask, what will you do now, Adi? So the Scions seek a way into Iceheart's sanctum. Then I dare say you are eager to return to the Rising Stones. Pray do not let me keep you. Fear not. My countrymen and I shall tend to the aftermath. You need not waste your talents here. And speaking of talents, have you considered training in the art of the shinobi? You have the aptitude for it, I believe. So please give it some thought. Till next time, my friend. I have to start leveling a rogue first. Yeah. Body becomes a ninja. <laughs> All right. Speak with Minfilia. Pray Are return to more donut. More donut. More donut. <laughs> Gosh, I love donuts. I think we started our teleport at the exact same time. <laughs> Probably. Actually, I'm curious. I'm curious. Can I activate anybody in chat? I don't know why I just thought of that. Does anybody in chat feel activated? <laughs> what? <laughs> Welcome back, Adi. I understand that Alphano had a task for you. May I ask what it was? I feel activated, but that's just because I'm looking at you. There we go. <laughs> Adi. Adi made me feel things, what? <laughs> Whoa! Charges of treason and espionage against Elaine Royale? I can scarcely believe it. Could there not have been some manner of misunderstanding? No, it avails us not to dwell on it. Whatever the truth may be, we must trust to the authorities to uncover it. Let us speak of another matter. I am pleased to report that we have made progress in our efforts to find a way into Iceheart's sanctum. Whoa! And now they want to give me bacon broth. Bacon broth? <laughs> okay, so... He gave you French onion dip, and now they're giving you bacon broth. Why not... mix the French onion dip in the bacon broth, mix it up, and then you have French... Bacon French onion dip. Not even fr bacon French onion dip, but it's bacon French onion soup. Because with the broth, the broth, the dip is going to be like a little... Soupier, yeah. Yeah, soupier, looser, depending on how you want to put it. Depending on how sus you want to be. <laughs> and the description of the haddock dip says that it has mashed potatoes mixed into it. Ooh. So it'd be like a like a creamy potato soup. Oh, oh my bacon. gosh. Uh... We're just making ourselves hungry again. I can only be so... I can only be so aroused. I mean hungry. <laughs> I 
As you may recall, Iceheart used the, used the Aetherite in the depths of Snowcloak to teleport a short distance to the west, most likely to, to a sanctuary of some description. It is there that we suspect she means to summon Shiva using the crystals she stole from House Foretold Caravan. <gasps> that emptied my lungs. That was a lot. The heretics believe that they were bringing about a second coming of their patron saint. But if, as we suspect, they mean to hold a summoning ritual of the kind employed by the beast tribes, it seems likely that the result will be something more akin to a primal. Suffice it to say, they must be stopped. And stop them we shall. But first we must surmount the obstacle that Iceheart has placed in our path. Ordinarily, it would be a simple matter uh, to tap into the, in a, into the established Ethernet and thereby follow our quarry. However, despite our best efforts, we have been unable to ascertain the position of the Aetherite to which she teleported. Our prevailing theory is that she destroyed the second Aetherite upon arrival. A reckless, desperate measure, but also an effective one. After discussing the matter at length with Yoranje, we have concluded that we lack the expertise to develop a solution. Which is why we have called upon the aid of one who does possess such expertise. A colleague of ours who is currently en route to Revenant's Toll from Charlian. She should be arriving within the hour, in fact. Since you are here, mayhap we could welcome her together. I am certain she would appreciate the gesture. Let us make our way to the northern gates and await her, company, her coming. Alright. We have to wait for Lady Minfilia's friend to come. Phrasing. <laughs> Phrasing. <laughs> wow. 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 I'm sorry, and that was an easy joke, too. There was, like, no effort put into that. That's all right. That's all right. No one can blame you for targeting the low-hanging fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Why do I see something over here that says dress up to Taru? Why are Why does every stream get so friggin' horny like right at the end? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> You're at the witching hours. Oh, uh, you know what? That's fair, M30. That is really fair. Interesting music. I love that cart. It is so cool looking. Another purple. It's she. Minfilia, am I right? That voice. None other. I bid you welcome to Revenant's Toll, and thank you for traveling so far on such short notice. <laughs> As if I could ever say no to Urianje. Moonbreda is an accomplished Charlian scholar, and an authority on Aetherite technologies. She has played an invaluable role in our search for a means to capture Asian souls. Charmed, I'm sure. I love her. <laughs> she is rather fun. Her voice. She's also tall, rugged, and mommy. I love her. <laughs> Leather mommy. Leather mommy. And her name is Moon Brita. Yeah. She breeds the moon. I'm a sun dragon. Let's go. Wow. Okay. So I think... 
I think this might be a good point to wrap up. Because I think the next few things are going to be long and irritating to get right into the middle of, so... I think it might be... Warning. Many scenes will play in a sequence. Yep. I, I, just ha I just have a feeling. I have a feeling deep within my bones. Bones. Gosh, I love bones. Let's see... Let's see... I know just who we can visit. Y'all feel like some Baldur's Gate 3 tonight? Ooh. It's funny, too, because actually that thumbs up and the way she was behaving, I was thinking she, I'm getting car -like vibes from her. Kinda, yeah. How long have they been going? Okay, I've got a raid message. I've got a raid message. So I will copy and paste it in chat here. I'm going ahead and taking a putting together a little screenshot of the the MSQ step so that way those who need to catch up know where to go. Okay, so you're going to post it and pin it? Or, yeah, I'm, well I don't know if I can pin it, but I can post it. Okay. Uh yeah, why don't you post it and I, I'll pin it. Okay. Okay, there there is our raid message. We are going to go visit Nazra. Nazra is playing some uh, Baldur's Gate 3 with some friendos, and we're going to go visit. Nazra is a sweet, sweet bean that actually I met first and got to know in Hazarino's stream. Because they frequent there. Nazra is a really good bean. Super good bean. So when we pop on over there, just, just pop that raid message in, and it'll be good to go. But holy heck. Y'all, thank you so much for coming tonight. Things were really, really great. Uh, this is a super chill night. Um, sorry we didn't fight Shiva. Uh, we will eventually. Um, it definitely seemed like we were, but, you know, we kind of got... We kind of got... Had something. Yeah, we did. Yeah. So, folks, this was this was really, really great. So, thank you so much. Uh, the next time I'm going to be live is uh, tomorrow night, 6 p.m. PST. <laughs> Haas mentioned. <laughs> The next time I'm going to be live is tomorrow night at 6 p.m. PST. I'm going to be playing some Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And that's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. I can't wait. Oh, my God. But anyway, folks, take care. And don't forget, take care of yourselves and each other. Drink all the water. Eat all the food. Get all the sleeps. And before you know it, we'll be together again. And we can um, play some more hacking video games and have a chill night. Well, take care, folks. Have a good one. Bye-bye. It is time for me to make a jack.